slay me, then you bump me. I can't wait to see what happens next. Oh. I'm going home for Thanksgiving. I can help get you home. Hello everyone, this is AJ and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new video. Yes, today I want to talk about planes, trains and automobiles. More specifically, I want to do a review of this product, of the transfer, of the special features and the like. So, let's talk about it. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button, coming over and joining. Um, why not? And everything else that goes with it. Also, leave me a comment at the end. I do reply to all comments. Get that out of the way as quick as we can. So, planes, trains, and automobiles. Um, Steve Martin, John Candy, um, John Hughes movie. Do I need to talk about the film itself? No, it's a fantastic film. Um, it's a film that I love. It's a film that you know I watch on a regular occasion. It's very funny. It's a film that I did review around this time last year. So, and I gave it a glowing review, a positive review, it's a fantastic film. So get that out of the way as well, we don't need that. Because um, my thoughts are all positive on it. Although, is it a Christmas film or isn't it? Yes, I know it's a Thanksgiving film, but here in the UK, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving. So thusly, for me, it feels like a festive movie, a film that could be listed within a Christmas top 10. Yes, you just have to imagine that there, he's trying to get home for Christmas. That's essentially what it is, Turkey Day. So anyway, let's get on to this. So this here is the new 4K Ultra HD transfer, which I watched last night. Now I have heard murmurings that there's um, people who have a concern of this transfer. So I wanted to give you my thoughts on it. Now, this transfer here, obviously it has gone through the DNR process, digital noise reduction, um, where the, the, the pitch is cleaned up and grain removed. Now I'm not an authority in this area whatsoever, so I'm gonna be giving you a very layman, in layman terms, verdict on this film. Okay, so, um, the film here, it, it's, it's it's a mixture of two banks. On the one hand, there's elements to it that I thought looked really good. I mean, the picture is crisp and clear. It certainly is. The blacks are very deep. Um, I'll give it that. Nighttime shots when they're driving along in the car and it's pitch black. Um, wonderful. Um, colour does pop out when there is colour. However, there isn't a whole lot of colour within this film. Being where the film is set and the time of year, it has a very grey aesthetic to it. So you don't really get a chance for the colour to be jumping out of the screen. However, it was, um, you, you did notice it on the red of the train when the train had broken down, that was in the background, things like that. Just very little, little aesthetic pieces. The fact that this film has been so heavily de and odd, um, um, it, it, it leads to a waxy feel. There is a waxy feel, but it's more prevalent within some scenes than within others. It was very noticeable at the very start of the film when you first meet the character of Neil Page. Um, it was, it, it looked, he, Steve Martin looked incredibly waxy looking. And also the very end scene of the film, the very last scene of the film, when you have Del Griffith in the family home and he's smiling, clutching his hat or whatever he's holding and it, it closes up on him. There was something going on in that scene, in the back, it just didn't look right. There was something wrong with it. Um, throughout the film, there are elements of it looking like this and not looking like this. However, I think that the good does outweigh the bad with this one. Um, it's not the best of transfers as it could be, but it's certainly the best that this film has looked. Um, on, on a release. Um, it's a difficult one to call. It is very much a 50-50 and it will go down to the individual's perception and take on it. Um, for me, it was fine. I enjoyed it. I loved every minute of it. Um, however, like I said, it was just here and there. But I noticed it less than what I noticed it more, if that makes sense, with the sort of waxiness of the characters and their skin tone and this sort of thing. Um, so yes, a very sort of middle of the road kind of a, an opinion here, um, but weighing more towards the better, 
Shall we say it did look clear, it looked crisp. I got no issue with that. Um, but there we go. Now as for the special features, the special features are spread over two discs inside. You do get the 4K, um, which is the 4K film, and you get some special features on here. Now a lot of the special features on here are just um, uh, puff pieces that were done at the time that the press were done for the making of the film. But there is a huge John Hughes documentary on here that goes through his career and his um, films that he's done and this sort of a thing. And that's fantastic. Um, the second disc, the Blu-ray, um, this isn't actually a Blu-ray copy of the film. There is no Blu-ray copy of the film in here. It is just the 4K. However, this Blu-ray disc here does contain all of the deleted scenes. Yes, all the deleted scenes of this film. Um, they're more deleted and extended scenes, right? Basically, you've got a lot of scenes that, that um, go on for some time. Um, you know, um, Neil in the waiting room of, of, of the airport, talking to Dell, and the two of them on the plane. Um, there's a lot more to it, to these scenes, and I can understand why. Um, there were edits made. Now there are scenes that were edited that that do open the story up, right? Because even when I was watching the film yesterday, um, it's always bugged me how when Neil is in the shower and the water runs out on him, and he opens his opens the shower curtain, the whole bathroom is a mess, and he's looking there, and, and you're thinking from the perspective of you watching it, you're thinking, you know, he's acting like he's only just noticed it. But he would have seen that when he went in the bathroom in the first place. You know, the bathroom would have been that mess. But no, the scene is extended to the point that, that um, um, Del Griffith comes into the bathroom while Neil Page is showering. And he creates the mess there and then um, without Neil being aware of what's been done. At the same time, they get a pizza delivery come in and the pizza delivery guy's knocking at the wrong door. Then he comes in and Del only tips him a dollar. Tips him a dollar by taking the money out of Neil Page's wallet. And this is why Neil accuses him later of going for his stuff because it came to light that in a scene that he he said that he took the money out of his wallet and that's when Neil's accusing him of having when they find out his, all his money's gone and this sort of a thing um, it all ties into that and the pizza delivery guy is the geezer who comes back because he's been shafted who comes and steals from their wallet who knows where they are and that it's two guys in there and, and this sort of thing so there's a lot of elements there um, also the deleted scenes do touch upon the fact that Neil's wife starts believing that he's actually having an affair with someone and their, their relationship, they've fallen out of their love and their relationship is at an end. And so all that is included in these deleted scenes and they go on. There is an hour's worth of them. And it's great. That's that's a great. It's a great insight into the into the film and the editing process of the film. There's a lot of elements that you can see why they were trimmed for time and and the scenes just dragged. I think they were just seeing what would work and what wouldn't work and then edit it together sort of thing. But the plot elements that were taken out um, do answer certain questions within the narrative context of the movie. That being said, so we do have the package itself, which comes with a lovely sort of um, shiny slip, like so. Um, two discs inside, as I showed you, and that's the 4K case there um, for a great film. So really, I think it's down to personal opinion as to whether this is a, 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 a good one or a, a bad release. Um, me, I'm quite happy with it. Um, apart from two major niggling scenes, that's the very beginning and the very end. They're the two, and the end is the worst one. I just I couldn't figure out what I was seeing when that scene was up on the TV. Um, yeah, yeah uh, it was strange one, strange one. Anyway, so that was it. Just my little talk about the 4K transfer um, of this film and the special features included. Thanks for watching everyone. Um, like I said, if you leave a comment down below, I will reply to all comments. And also, please consider leaving me a subscribe. Um, coming over and subscribing, I should say, leave me a subscribe. What am I talking about? Leave me a comment, come over and subscribe. I don't know. Um, so this is AJ, thank you for watching and I shall see you on the next one. Take care all and goodbye. Have mercy. I've been wearing the same underwear since Tuesday. I can vouch for that.